The Galaxy A04s is one of the best budget smartphones from Samsung in the market right now because of its modern design, amazing 15 megapixel camera, beautiful display with faster 90s refresh rate, side fingerprint sensor, long lasting 5000mAh battery life and that feature packed one UI software. We are pretty much getting everything needed in a smartphone at this price point without much compromise. The Galaxy A04s has been launched for some months now with Android 12 out of the box but as promised by Samsung and luckily for me, the latest Android 13 and One UI 5.0 updates are already available and there are lots of improvements and new customizations which I will share with you guys soon. The Galaxy A04s has a cleaner and more classy camera design just like on the flagship Galaxy S22 Ultra which is nice to see on the low budget Galaxy A lineup. As usual, the Galaxy A04s has a plastic back cover with curvy design at the edges. Although I don't really like the glossy finish because it attracts lots of fingerprint smudges and can easily slide away from the hands. But Samsung went ahead in the aesthetic department by including subtle textured line patterns with a slight inward curve which allows the fingers rest comfortably on the back thereby providing a firmer grip. It's also lighter in weight which reduces the chances of accidental drops but you can always use a case for extra protection which unfortunately is not included in the box. The right side still retains the volume buttons and the power button which also doubles as the fingerprint sensor. The left side houses the triple card slot while the top has a noise cancelling microphone. The bottom side has the usual ports with the legendary headphone jack. Samsung decided to switch up the colors this time by adding the copper and green colors to the mix, which looks nice. One of the major improvements Samsung made in the Galaxy A04s is the display. Although it's still a massive 6.5 inches 720p HD Plus LCD with the old Infinity V notch, but the display quality is one of the best at this price point because the colors are vibrant, deeper, sharper, high contrast, and good viewing angles especially when compared with the older Galaxy A03s. The faster 90s refresh rate is a good addition. It's a big step from the A0s as scrolling and navigations are quite smooth most of the time. But due to the fact that the Exynos 850 chipset has not been fully optimized to support 90s refresh rate, you will still notice some lags here and there which kind of defeats the purpose. The 90s refresh rate is adaptive as it switches to 60s immediately you stop scrolling, so you don't need to worry about battery life. The screen temperature is on the warmer side and unfortunately, Samsung did not include the color temperature setting to adjust to preference. Samsung decided to use their in-house processor, the 8 nanometer Exynos 850 octa-core processor in the Galaxy A04s, which is a decent upgrade from the Helio P35 in the Galaxy A03s, but you will still have to deal with the occasional lags and drags here and there. I got the 4GB RAM model with option to expand to 8GB through RAM Plus and despite these advantages, multitasking is not that great. I guess Samsung still has a lot of work to do in optimizing entry-level processors with the loaded One UI software. I did some speed tests comprising with the Galaxy A03s to see how fast the 8 nanometer Exynos 850 is with the 12 nanometer Helio P35 processor. As you can see, the Exynos 850 is slightly faster. I still believe Samsung can do better by using more capable processors like the Helio G88 at this price point. The Galaxy A04s is not a gaming smartphone but the Mali G52 GPU is able to handle high-end games in low to medium settings. COD was able to play medium graphics and high frame rates which is good but you will experience some lags and frame drops sometimes which is not a big deal. The Galaxy A lineup has been known for their long-lasting battery life. It comes with the usual 5000mAh battery capacity and thanks to the highly efficient 8nm processor, you should be able to get between 8 to 13 hours screen on time which translates to more than a day on average use. Here's a screenshot of my battery usage during a typical day. The Galaxy A04s supports 15W fast charging and luckily, the charger is available in the box. It took about 2 hours 30 minutes to fully recharge the battery which is not so fast in 2023 but still manageable. One of the biggest improvements you will notice in the Galaxy A04s is the cameras. It has a triple camera setup and the addition of a large 50 megapixel 
f1.8 camera lens is a very good upgrade as you will get more detailed and sharper images. The selfie camera remains 5 megapixel, although should have at least been upgraded to an 8 megapixel. I did some camera comparisons with the older Galaxy A03s model, so you can see how much Samsung went all out to improve the quality of the Galaxy A04s camera. You will immediately notice the improvement in high dynamic range of the A04s both in normal and portrait modes. The 50 megapixel images are obviously clearer and sharper. When it comes to the selfie, both smartphones do similar jobs since they both have the same 5 megapixel selfie camera. But the images from the Galaxy A04s are sharper and clearer with good dynamic range. The video quality of the Galaxy A04s is also impressive at this price point with very good dynamic range and exposure levels. It's a good thing that Samsung is bringing better camera quality to their budget smartphones. The maximum resolution is 1080p at 30 frames per second. This is the front video camera test of the Samsung Galaxy A04s. I'm currently shooting now in 1080p 30 frames per second which is the maximum resolution. Let me know what you guys think about the audio and video quality. But the white balance of the selfie video is on the warmer side. Overall, it's manageable for social media postings. We are already familiar with the customizability, flexibility, simplicity, versatility, efficiency and optimization of Samsung's One UI software. That was a mouthful. The latest One UI 5.0 upgrade even brings more smart and intelligent customizations. The Galaxy A04s comes with Android 12 out of the box but I already upgraded to the latest Android 13 software with the latest One UI 5 version. Based on Samsung's track record, we should get up to Android 14 upgrade which is cool. One of the coolest updates is the widget stack that allows you to have multiple widgets in a single widget folder just like the Apple iOS 15. It's interesting to have this flagship smartphone feature in a budget smartphone. Just like in the Google Pixel, there are now more colors available for customizations from the color palette. There are many other customizations that make the overall user experience fun and intuitive, but the super useful edge panel has been removed which is a little disappointing. At least, Smart View is now available. The sound quality from the single firing speaker is better, with more surround bass effects, but at the expense of voice clarity in full volume. Also, I noticed the system vibration intensity has been reduced due to the use of a less expensive motto with shorter and lighter feedback duration. In conclusion, the Samsung Galaxy A04s is a very good smartphone, especially when you focus more on the One UI software, display, rear camera and battery life. The 464GB model is sold for $130 or 98,000 Naira, while the 4 128GB model is sold for $150 or 115,000 Naira. And I believe this is a good deal. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Bye.